Hello, and welcome to this tutorial. In today's video we will go through how to wire up a potentiometer to a Siemens S7-1200 PLC and how to configure it in TIA portal. On my potentiometer I will connect 0 voltage DC on my left pin and 10 voltage DC to my right pin. And from my middle pin which is the output pin I will connect to the analog input 0 of the PLC. And on the terminal that says 2M from the PLC I will connect to 0 voltage DC. If you want to know how to identify which pin does what on a potentiometer, you can check out my potentiometer tutorial, I will leave a link in the description. In TIA portal I already added my PLC to a new project. To configure the built-in analog input tag to the project we want to double-click the PLC in Devices and Networks view. Then under the Analog Inputs tab we want to choose channel 0 where we wired up the potentiometer to. Here we can see that this analog input terminal have a channel address of IW64. If we go to the main block we want to do some programming to make the PLC scaling the analog input correctly. To do so we need to add an empty function block. Then search for the function called norm underscore x. We want to scale this block from an integer to a real. The min and max inputs of the block is the value the CPU gets from our potentiometer. It is based on a 15-bit analog digital converter. And Siemens decided that the max value of the converter is 27648. So to make the PLC understand we want to go from 0 to 100 we want to type in 0 on the min input and 27648 on the max input. On the value input is where we add our analog input tag. And on the out output we want to make a new memory tag and define it as a data type of real. This stored value will be used with the next block. The next block we want to add is a scale underscore x function. We want to keep this one as a real on both sides. Here we want to type 0 on the min input and 100 on the max input. And on value we want to add our new memory tag we just defined from our last block. And on the out output I will make a second new memory real tag to store the scaled value. I added an HMI to demonstrate this. It have a bar counting from 0 to 100 where I connected my scaled value tag. And also two indication lamps that will turn on if the bar goes too low or high. Let's go online, monitoring and test the potentiometer.
Thank you for watching this tutorial. If you liked the video give it a thumbs up and subscribe.